All right, so this video is a little di bit different for a couple of reasons. Um, number one, I'm using a gimbal. So this is my first time using it and I am not doing as well with it as I'd like, but I am getting used to it. So um, forgive the, the, the weirdness. Um, also, you'll notice I do not have an AVR in there. Uh, I sent the SR7012 back to Marantz and I'm waiting for uh, something new to review there. And so I'm just using the SVS sound base to power uh, the towers and the two subs. So I'm running a 2.2 stereo setup and uh, I'm using it through my TV, uh, through the Bluetooth app and things like that. So um, yeah, it's going pretty good. It's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's pretty impressive actually. Uh, there's no room correction or anything. It's just, it, it's as it is. Um, but um, anyway, yeah, uh, I just got back from uh, CES 2019. Uh, I my wife and I and the two dogs, we went down to Las Vegas. Uh, then we went out to Scottsdale where we met up with SVS, um, met up with Nick and, and uh, uh, Ken and Larry, and they came and checked out the coach and things like that. Um, I also uh, had a lot of people that, um, both random and people I knew, uh, check out the coach for the first time and got some opinions and got some feedback. And I got some very interesting feedback. Um, and, and I'll go into that in a second. Um, it, I just want to let you know before I forget, um, SVS is doing their President's Day sale uh, for their outlet items. And uh, for those of you that aren't aware, um, new SVS product never goes on sale because they have price protections uh, so that you never pay more. Um, but one of the things they do is, you know, just a couple times a year, they really discount their outlet. And the outlet items are basically stuff that's been returned, tested to perform as new, might have a nick or a scratch or something like that, but um, you get the five years um, unconditional warranty, which includes the amplifier, which that's important um, when it comes to the subs and stuff like that. Um, you also get uh, 45 days to listen, free shipping, even if you send it back, you don't pay for shipping. Um, and most importantly, and then probably the coolest part, is you still get the one year trade up, where they give you the price they pay, the price you paid less shipping uh, towards a better SBS product. So. Um, that's worth checking out and I'm telling you these things they sell out quick so if you see something you like don't hesitate because it's gonna be gone quick and because of that I'm posting this video right when that sales active so um, you know if you follow my link down in the description below I appreciate it um, I appreciate the support but yeah as far as um, the whole CES thing goes and the trip and, and some of the things we realized um, one of the things that really struck uh, me and my wife because she went with me and while I was talking with people she was just going around everywhere and just listening to people's setups and and things like that and kind of a universal um, issue that that we both noticed was that the demos were really loud um, and I know that must be a common thing uh, and, and it's something that I noticed was different with my setup um, and and one of the reasons I noticed that, well, there's a couple reasons. Um, usually when people walk into the RV project, it's like, wow, <laughs> what the heck is this? Because it's, you know, it's a lot of firepower to have in an RV. Um, and so they expect it to just blow their hair back and just be painfully loud. And it can get that way, 100%, no doubt. Uh, it, it can definitely get there. Um, but one of the things that I kept hearing over and over again was wow that was really impressive it was really clear but it was also really comfortable it wasn't it wasn't painfully loud i wasn't wanting to hold my ears but it was shocking <laughs> you know because you hear bass that deep for the first time reproduced in a movie whatnot it's it's shocking it, it's it's like wow that's a whole different experience and that was kind of universal unless people were used to the bass um so it, it was something I noticed. It was just, you know, a lot of these demos that people do at, at stores and whatnot, um, at CES, a lot of places, a lot of times it's just too loud and it's uncomfortably loud. And so to me, that's, that's kind of a failure. Um, and, you know, I, I had my mother-in-law uh, check out this system uh, for the first time and, you know, she'd always you know, heard about it and, you know, probably wasn't the most excited to check it out. But when she did, she was just like, wow, that is really impressive. It's not, it was definitely dramatic, you know, with the bass and everything, but it wasn't loud. It didn't hurt her ears. She wasn't uncomfortable. 
and you know we actually watched a couple of movies uh, together and I asked her after those couple of movies how you know how she enjoyed it she's like normally at home when I watch movies I you know we have it so loud that it's uncomfortable and it's not really all that fun but I'd you know, if it weren't so late, I'd watch a few more with you. <laughs> so um, that's kind of the, the, the response I got. And, and, it, and it leads me to understand that there's an issue with, you know, buying all this gear and getting everything set up and having it be too loud or too harsh. I mean, you can have, I mean, I can change the settings and have my system sound uncomfortable, even at the same volume. Um, and the biggest thing I can say is go check out my bass hack series. Uh, that's Basically, a lot of the things, a lot of the tips and tricks I use personally to make my system sound the way it does, and um, and like I said, I've, I've realized I have a particular brand of sound that I like and a particular sound that I look for, and it's not very common. Um, and I'm not saying that no one has it. I'm just saying not very many people, percentage-wise, has it. So, um, so it, that's something I'm going to explore more and and how to really make sure that people get a comfortable and fun experience because if it's too loud let's say you're enjoying it right but the other three people in the room are kind of cringing and have a kind of an uncomfortable look on your on their faces you're probably not doing so well um you know and again you know there are some people that have uh, hearing issues hearing loss things like that and you know that's that's an issue that's completely separate i'm talking about people that have it so loud because they think it's cool or they you know they think that that's just how you do it and that's one of the things that i got a lot of feedback from my wife about when i first started doing this i'd have people over i would listen at a certain level and then I'd have a tendency to turn it up a little bit more for people that were hearing it for the first time and she's just like don't do that don't do that. it doesn't sound right it, it sounds a little overdone it you know it, it's just a little bit uncomfortable turn it down a couple of db and I would, and the response was more positive. And so, so it doesn't matter what kind of gear you have. You can always overdo it. You can always crank it up too loud, and you can always make it uncomfortable. You can use the wrong settings and have it be uncomfortable. You can have a, 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 a timing issue where, you know, I have the distance hack where I, I add four feet to the subwoofers typically, and it really adds a lot to the bass. But... You can overdo that and have it be uncomfortable. You can, you can instead of four feet, you can add eight feet or whatever, and it can have this weird pressure sensation, and that's uncomfortable. And it makes it just it basically ruins the entire experience. And I know if it happens with me, I know that other people have this problem as well. And so, um, and I've talked to people who are like, oh yeah, I've got you know this type of setup, and my wife always complains, it gives her a headache and things like that. And so I know it's a real issue, and I know it's something that um, that people have to deal with, and it's something that can be overcome uh, through different equipment, um, through the use of dual subs, believe it or not. Dual subs are more comfortable than a single. Um, I can say that 100%. <laughs> I, I find dual subs, especially when they're set up right, um, a lot more comfortable than a single. And I, I explain why, I don't know. I, I, mean, I have some theories, but they're just theories. So, um, but you know, all this stuff is fixable. And so that's something that, you know, this whole RV project kind of, um, it really helped me understand and it, it illuminated that, you know, I got a lot of comments from people about, wow, this was, you know, clear. And it was, it was, everything was, there was nothing that was lacking and it was impressive, but it wasn't painful. And to me, that should be the goal for anyone. I, I don't think anyone wants to have a home theater when they have guests over or their spouse or their kids or whatever, I don't think anyone wants to have them come and experience something that's uncomfortable or just a little bit not fun. Um, the whole idea of home theater is fun, right? So that's something I want to focus on a little bit more uh, is, is helping people find that comfort level. Um, that's one of the reasons I talk about ported subs more than sealed subs and sealed subs have a lot of awesome qualities. I'm not, I'm not down on sealed subs. But I know I personally have an issue with them, and it makes it to where if I have a personal issue with it, I know some other people have a personal issue with it. Um, I know my dog has a personal issue with it. Um, so that's one of those things that could address the, the comfort issue of, you know, your significant other, your, your guests, your pets, um, things like that. So, uh, so yeah, anyway. This kind of ended up rambling, I'm sorry, um, but it was an interesting trip. It was very eye-opening for me, uh, and I 
it gave me some more content. As I expected, I expected having the RV project would give me more content to work with, and this is absolutely true. I, I'm talking about things I didn't expect to be talking about, but, um, but yeah. So anyway, definitely stay tuned, and uh, if you're new to the channel, definitely hit the subscribe button. Um, and check out the base hack series, even the ones that seem like they wouldn't make a lot of sense to you. Watch them anyway, because I'm telling you, there's some people that look at things and, and they assume what it's going to be. And then they read into it and then they try it and it's like, wow, that made a difference. Um, and specifically, the distance hack is one of those. Um, a lot of people have, have noticed uh, some, some good luck with that. So, um, but anyway, yeah, uh, so here's Bear. He's just getting up. But um so yeah, I'm having a little fun with this gimbal and stuff. But um, but anyway, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you taking the time to, to watch my videos. Um, it means a lot to me. And uh, I'm really figuring out kind of what's needed out there, what people are experiencing, and you know the things that are easily fixable. So anyway, again, thanks so much for watching, and please subscribe. Common, um, and one of the ones that people always talk about and comment on is the distance hack. And that's where you add you know, anywhere from two to four feet to the subwoofer uh, as, after you do room correction, and it really just brings it alive. It's, it, it reduces some of that cancellation, and it's just a, a quite an impressive thing once you go from normal to the to changing that. So what do you think the difference between that and just raising the gain is? Um, well, just like if you have a dead spot in a room, so let's say you've got a, a dead spot at like 45 hertz, and it's, you, you got a big dip there in, in the graph. If you boost that, you're not going to hear it. Right. It's just it's just gone. Your neighbors will hear it because the you know the, the subwoofer will increase its output, but you're you're in a, a dip. You're getting in a cancellation. So you can boost that all you want. It's not going to fix it. Mm -hmm. But if you change the phase a little bit or you add dual subwoofers, then you can hear everything and you don't need to boost that gain because it's already there. Same type of thing with the distance hack. If you just boost the gain. You're st you're hearing more bass, but you're still missing a couple little parts there. You're, my wife said you're kind of missing the soul. There you go. And so when we did that, you know, trying to set it up in Vegas, and it just wasn't going right. And she finally, I finally added the distance because you know I should know. And she's like, "That's it. Mm -hmm. That's the sound. That's what we're missing." And so that's one of the things. Um, but yeah, just little things like that is kind of what my channel is all about. Is just. You know, not just reviews, but little tips and things. I mean, you, you heard in here, all this textile, all these fabrics really reduce the amount of sure. reflections and things like that. Things like that I talk and about. And you didn't have to get loud at all. I mean, if you look at where we play whenever we do our demo content, we're probably five times louder than what you were playing here. And this, the setup is fantastic. The way all this comes together, the mixing of the Prime and the Ultra really showcases the timber matching and everything that we do on the product. But the way you've put the system together, it's really cool. Thank As you. Someone that grew up traveling in a trailer with my family, I thought, we never did anything like this. We had the VHS and the little TV, and you know, well, we we've got the VHS. It, it I mean, a part of me kind of expected it to be like MacGyver together, but it feels like you're in a home theater. Yeah. You generally get that sense of comfort and like being immersed, like not like. You know, you're in a mobile vehicle that, uh, you know, sort of you just cram a bunch of audio gear into. It very much has the sort of attention to detail that you would expect from a home theater. Yeah.